Hi, I'm Doug Sleeter with the Sleeter Group. Hey, walk with me down memory lane for a minute. Let's take a look at QuickBooks version 1.0 for DOS from 1992. Here's the QuickBooks main menu. You can see there's uh, the same kind of uh, uh, items that we have kind of see today. It's just organized differently. There's the checkbook, the invoicing, receivables, uh, payables, charts of accounts. You can hit the keyboard or just mouse up and down. Uh, the chart of accounts has all of the same kinds of assets, liabilities, income and expense accounts that we could do. So that was all there all the way back to the very beginning. If I go into writing checks, this is something that uh, looks very familiar to uh, us in, in the software today. Um, and actually if you look at this check, this was one of the revolutionary pieces that I found when I first saw QuickBooks and that is, hey, they just put it on the screen so I didn't have to teach you what to do. You know what to do. Fill out the form. Um, notice the features that are here are pretty much uh, all there and were there all this time. For example, what if I wanted to split this check into two amounts, a thousand dollars here and uh, maybe reimbursed uh, expenses. Now I don't remember the account name so I just say REI tab reimbursed so it fills it out. That's called quick fill. That was there originally. Reimbursable expenses. So there is your check that you wrote uh, all the way back there. So this was DOS, this was early on, and they already had the core components that I found to be uh, revolutionary at the time. Uh, and I saw in 1992, 3, 4, I saw this is going to be big. And so I really kind of joined with Intuit and said, hey, uh, we're, we're going to help you uh, teach the world about this. Go into the check register now so you can see there's the check register. So uh, again, like today, there's two views on every transaction. There's the register view and there's the form view. And here's that check that I just wrote. It was split and so this looks all the same. Moving into the accounts payable, it's uh, an item here that you just check. There's an out accounts payable register that we would go to. And the way we entered bills then was directly in the register. So you can see I entered this bill here just typing in the amounts and, and, and all of that. So there wasn't an enter bill screen just yet. So let me show though the register and then the process of paying a bill is, you know, what date do you want to pay the bills on? Well, 01, uh, 25, 92. I'm doing something in 1992 here. What checking account am I going to do it from? And uh, do I want to select some of the bills or all of the bills? Okay, here's my list of bills to pay and just check that and just uh, 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 F9 pay in full or, or not. And there's, there's the amount, control done, and I have paid my bill. So let's take a look at how invoicing and accounts receivable worked in 1992. You're going to see a lot of familiar things here, right from the main menu, go into the invoicing. You can write and print invoicing, invoices. I've got an invoice that I've got mostly typed in here. There's an invoice number, the date of the invoice, purchase order, uh, project. So there were customers and jobs back then, uh, and I've got it all filled out. I'll just record this invoice. So, uh, and I could continue to record more invoices. Then I'll receive payments. So, so when Bob Mason then re uh, sends me money, I'm going to put in the customer. Again, this looks familiar, except it's just the uh, DOSI versus uh, what it is today. So the amount we're going to receive on this is 20, uh, I guess we'll receive the whole thing, 358.64. And it was on one, uh, let's say, uh, uh, you know, 30, uh, 92, we received that amount. So we've got him uh, applying these amounts to each of the invoices, just like you do today. Uh, that received payments happened. Now I can look at the AR register. You can see all the invoice activities and all of the payments activities. Uh, then the next step, of course, is to uh, make deposits. So we'll make a deposit here. We've got two customer deposits that have come in. Uh, the deposit date is going to be 130.92. Uh, and the checking account is where I'm going to put that and those are the two so I got to come down here and deposit this one whoops yes and yes there's a total deposit with two transactions in it control done and there I am full cir circle on invoicing and receiving payments okay so now let's look at how QuickBooks uh, DOS version 1.0 did reports and uh, reports menu, I've got some memorized reports here that I set up, a balance sheet and an income statement, but they were also defaults 
that I could have just picked from. So on 1, uh, 92 through 12, 92, I'm doing things in 1992 here. And uh, there's my income statement. And you can see it's pretty much the right same format that we're, we're using today. Uh, so that's the income statement. You can memorize reports just like you uh, can today. So a lot of the concepts that we see today in QuickBooks are, were already there in the very beginning. Let's look at a balance sheet uh, on, uh, say, 131.92. Uh, uh, you'll see, again, same old balance sheet. So it was all there even back in version 1 of DOS. Thank you, Doug, for that walk down memory lane and the trip through QuickBooks for DOS version 1.0. Now we're going to talk about QuickBooks for the future, QuickBooks 2013. We'll walk through some of the same basic features that we just saw what it looked like 20 years ago in the most current version of QuickBooks that we have today. So first let's look at writing a check, just as we did in QuickBooks for DOS. Control W will get us our check writing screen. And of course, not that much different. I mean, visually it looks different, but the layout's basically the same. We have a form to fill out. So we're going to come in here and I can write a check to Joe Mason and I can pay him $1,500 for outside services and I can split that up, right? And I can reimburse his expenses. Let's just say the expenses were 200 and the outside services were 1300 Very simple, very straightforward, just like it was back 20 years ago in QuickBooks for DOS. Let's also take a look at the chart of accounts real quick. Uh, again, same basic concept, a little different layout, a little different look and feel. But I've got my list of accounts starting with my balance sheet accounts, my assets, then my liabilities and equity accounts, income, and of course expenses. Now let's very quickly look at entering a bill. This time we have a form for entering bills, which we didn't have back then. And I can enter a bill or I can go to a previous bill. And I, I can look at the bill for my law firm called Blindum, Robum, and Billum for $6,500 for legal fees. And it's basically the same. Now, of course, we can go to pay that bill. So let's go to vendors and pay bills. And there it is. And I can check it off to be paid. I choose which bank account I want to pay it out of if it's a check. And, of course, I can make a partial payment if I need to. And then I have to choose if it's going to be printed or if I want to assign the check number in cases where the check was already written. We can pay the selected bills, and we're done. So that's paying a bill, entering and paying a bill. Let's take a look at invoicing real quick. I have an invoice form here. If I go to a previous one that I filled out, always write incorporated. I can fill out an invoice for some service, for stuff we did that we charged for, for $2,500. And then I can come in and I can receive the payment on a bill. And of course I can use keyboard shortcuts to activate that screen. And I can get the full payment here, the $2,500. And I can say save and close. And then of course I'm going to make the deposit by going to banking, make deposits. And there's my payments to deposit screen. I check it off. Just like we had in QuickBooks for DOS, just the screens look very different. Check it off. Click OK. I'm in my bank deposit screen. I make sure I've got the right bank account chosen, the right date, and save and close. And I'm done. So now we've seen all the basic, same basic processes that existed in QuickBooks for DOS, what they look like in QuickBooks 2013. And stay tuned because coming up real soon, Doug is going to take us on a walk through some other applications, the same basic features and what those look like today.